hello everyone so today we are going to work on rotating the character mesh in the inventory so here you can see I can rotate with my mouse and if I leave it for more than five seconds without any interaction it will reset the rotation to face the original angle and if I change my uh, if I change the angle I am looking at the character when I go to equip a new item a different item you can see the orientation is resetting here let me rotate but if I go back it orients back to face front so this is what we are going to work on today and before we get started I'd like to remind you, you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that I have done from my Patreon page. Once you become a member, you can download anything without any limits. So feel free to check it out. I'll leave the link in description below. And this is a part of this action RPG with gameplay ability system series I'm doing. You can watch all other episodes as well. I'll leave the link to the full playlist in the description okay and let's get back to today's tutorial okay so this is what we have at the moment I can play the game and open the inventory and here at the moment there is no way to rotate around the character and look at the character in whatever the angle I want so it's just like this so let's go back so yeah now rotation is what I want to work on now so first let me open the inventory blueprint and here let's add something uh, to get a click event that covers the character maybe a capsule collider and it should uh, cover the general area where the character mesh should be so it be large enough and it matches the character and also i don't think we need to enable overlap all dynamic it would be should be just enough to just block the visibility and ignore everything else so let's do that here and uh, let's get this on clicked event and to see if this works i'll add a print output Right. Uh, you can see uh, so it's not working and also you can see there is a problem with the foot placement so it's coming from the IK system of the character it should be because I have the visibility response blocking so maybe if I just put this under the camera and move it closer to the camera still overlapping the weave of the mesh should get the job done without interfering with the mesh animations oh, oh. and also i leave the visibility of the capsule so that i can see where it is okay where is the capsule not, uh, why is it not visible all right i'll change this i'll align this with correctly okay now it should be visible let's see yeah it's there i still click event is not working let's get into this that 
null uh, it's, but first I need to see if it overlaps so here it's not correctly overlapping maybe if I move the capsule a bit closer it should be fine and also to make the mouse inputs working here, do I have a custom player controller? Yeah, I do. So here, in the player controller, you can enable mouse events here. Enable click events. If you enable this, you should get a correct response for the click. Click should work. Yeah, see? Now, you, now we get the clicked output. And okay but i don't think i want to leave it enabled forever so it should be just enough to enable click events when i enter the inventory and disable them when disable it when i exit the inventory so maybe here can enable set click events Set enable click events to true. And when I exit, oh, where should I? Maybe I didn't. Get player controller. Set enable click events to false. Alright, now I'll move this a bit closer. That should properly cover. Uh, maybe a bit to the right. Or maybe a closer to, maybe a bit closer to the camera. Even if it even if the capsule encapsulate the entire area it is fine. Alright, so the next step is uh, rotation. So for this, I also need the mouse release event as well on the capsule. Okay, we got both. And here, let's add a new variable mm, mesh rotating. Rotating. let's enable this when we have clicked on the capsule until we release it and okay let me align this and also i'll get ia look input action which gives the mouse movement here we can get the horizontal or x mouse movement to drive rotating around the mesh so we should only do this if mesh rotating is enabled like this and so how do we rotate i can get the player we only need to rotate the mesh so get mesh component and add relative rotation so at the moment i'm not i don't want to rotate around any other axis i only need to rotate around uh z axis so adding rotation to the yo component should be enough so let's get this action value and multiply with world delta seconds so it should be smooth and constant across different systems and also the delta seconds could be a very small value so let's add a multiplier so we'll have uh, enough speed of rotation okay time to test yep it's working 
and the other thing is if I change the angle I think it would be better if we have a way to reset the character's rotation so for example when I come back here it should uh, turn to face the front and if I leave the character without rotating for like five seconds it should automatically turn so for that let's add a custom event reset mesh rotation and it should be capital and uh, oh. so initially what we do is we set the mesh location and rotation using the mesh root component here so if i do the same it should work but here we are manipulating the word location and rotation mm, will this work let's see so i want to use move component to node so that I can smoothly rotate and I don't want to change the location so I can get the location of the mesh and you see the same without any change uh, but for the rotation let's try this mesh root in the same way we did before get Word rotation. I have some doubts about this. Let's test and see. It's easy. Get relative location. Okay. It's an average scene is out and maybe for time eight point eight seconds. It should be it shouldn't be too fast or too slow. And here let's add a re-triggerable delay of let's say five seconds or whatever fits for you you can just change it here so the reason that I want to add a re-triggerable delay is because if I just add a delay it would be called every time when I add a rotation so I don't want to do that every time I have rotated I need to reset this time so that's why it's a re-triggerable delay okay and also when I change focus or the changed angle I am looking at the character so here also I need to reset mesh rotation so reset uh, reset mesh rotation test okay. yeah it seems working yeah system is working uh, did the character also rotate here oh you see the character rotates in the world so we need to only reset the rotation if the inventory is still open otherwise we shouldn't so we can use inventory open okay let's just now oh oh what's what's wrong why did it automatically turn the other way? We have a problem in our reset rotation node. Okay, so we originally said save the original relative transform when the mesh is still inside the character. And let's have another variable here. Uh, to save the original relative transform after I move the mesh 
into the energy so if i just reset to that the character should properly orient without any issue mesh relative transform inventory and when i reset instead of all this now i can just use that use this variable values split location rotation test yep it's working now it, it's where it's rotating to the correct orientation okay okay so let's test a bit more yeah it works correctly when i change the angle as well all right so i think all good Mm, are there anything else I need to polish before we finish? Not really. Uh, yeah, one thing. If you want to have a zoom in, zoom out system, maybe you can use, uh, maybe not Y, or some other input action and use that to drive the either field of view of the camera or length of spring arm components either way it should work if you need like a way to zoom in zoom out into the character and but for now i don't need that feature in this inventory so yeah thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for download in the patron page link would be in the description and in upcoming episodes i need to think of a way to actually connect what i have gathered in the game world and only the gathered items should show up in the, when i go into the inventory so i need to think of a way to link those two things and yeah don't forget to like and subscribe See you in the next episode. Bye.